Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Logic Ops Lab. Today we are going to talk about various types of commands that are used in batch scripting. As you can see on my screen, there are about 40 to 50 types of command, but we are going to talk about only the important ones. So we'll start with the verb. It shows the version of MS DOS. So whatever version MS DOS you are using in your operating system, it will show you that. CD stands for change directory. It helps you move within a lot of directories and you can understand directories as a folder. Make directory. MD command is used for make directory. It creates a directory for you. RD is remove directory. Remove directory means you will be deleting a directory. CLS. So what happens whenever you type a lot of commands on your console screen, sometimes you feel that I should clear my screen in order to see more. For that, you type CLS and then you can clear the screen. Dir. So dir command is a short form of directory. It, sh it shows you all the contents of a directory. So if there, are, if there is any file or there are a number of folders in your directory, it will show you all of that. Echo. Echo command shows you the mes message that follows the command. So if you want to type something and want to print it on the console or show it to the person who is, who is the user, you type it on, uh, on a batch script and then it will display on the console screen. Exit. Exit command is used to go out of the uh, out of the console and close it. Rem. Rem command is used for commenting. So if you have written any line which you don't want to be printed or be read by the uh, interpreter compiler, it won't compile and it won't print anything onto your screen. So that, that's why you use rem command. Start. Start command starts the program in a new window. So if you want your program to be executed in a new window, you should st uh, you should write start command in front of that. You can execute any kind of function. Time command. Time command is a basic uh, command which displays you the time uh, depending on the operating system. Pause. Pause command is the command that is used to pause whatever is running on your console in any kind of batch scripting. And it will give you uh, some time so that it waits for the user and then you the, either you can close it or you can provide any kind of input. So that's why you use pause command. Moving on to our next commands, the first command is move. It moves your files in various directories. So if you want to transfer your file from one place to the another, you'll use move command. The next command is path. This batch command displays or sets the path variable. So in case you want to set the path variable, you can use the path command, ren. Ren command renames the file in the directories. So in case you want to change the name of any file or a directory, you can use the ren command. Type command. This batch command prints the content of a file or files to the output. So that's what a type command does. So let's move on to volume command. This batch command displays the volume label. So in case you want to show the volume labels, you can use the volume command. Find command. This batch command searches for a string in files or input, and then it outputs the matching lines. So that's how you use a find command. Help command. This batch command shows the word of a Windows supplied command. And whatever help commands are there in your OS, it will show you that. You can use those commands to move forward. ipconfig command. This is one of the most used commands in, and this batch command displays Windows IP configuration. It shows the configuration by connection in the name of that connection. Let's say for an example, if you want to check the IP of your system, you can use this ipconfig command. ping command. It sends ICMP IP echo packets over the network to the designated address. So a lot of times these commands are used to check whether there is a website or a server is up or not. All you can do is you can type ping, give the IP address or the domain name and then once the packets are sent, they must be received. If you send the same packet and the packets are received, it's up. If you don't, then it's down. We'll see in the demo. Sort command. This batch command takes the input from a source file and sorts its contents alphabetically. You can go from A to Z and from Z to A depending on your choice. Next command is task kill command. 
task kill commands ends one or more task so what happens is if in case you want to kill a command sorry if in case you want to kill uh, in any task you can use this task task kill command task list it lists tasks including task name and the process id so pid is a short form of process id in case you want to list all the tasks that are running you can use the task list command fc fc stands for file compare command it shows you the actual differences between two files if you remember in our last video we talked about whether you can use a notepad plus plus or a any kind of editor in order to run or write your bad scripts so let's talk about visual studio code go on to your favorite browser type visual studio code and hit enter you can see the first link click on it and browse through the applications available i am using a windows system so i'll download a windows installer i have a 64 bit system i'll click on it and it will download once you'll download it and you can install it after that then you'll see an icon created on your desktop once you open it this will look something like this you can either pick a theme or anything for your uh, for your development now how do you create a file right click on this you can open a new file or you can create a new file let's let's click on new file there is all already a first dot bat i'll click and type second dot bat and here you see there is a second dot bat file so as i've already told that dot bat is a extension is an extension of a batch file now what we'll do here we'll write echo and we'll type hello world we'll close it with double inverted commas and how do you run it you can click on terminal you can click on new terminal and there will be a new terminal now you can check your path which is c users your name desktop and the folder name which we created and you can do a dir over here it will show all the files that are in this folder now click on type second on your keyboard press tab and then there will be a file hit enter you'll see hello world which is printed so this is how you can use visual studio code the editor for editing and creation of your files now in the next video we'll see the demo of all the commands that's we have that we have gone through so see you in the next video